Huh? We're winning the game, guys. We're playing against an absolute muppet. What are you doing? Someone clip that and send it to Bushy, please. Yes, guys, what's going on? It's Spessy here, and it is the final version of the mill deck. I'm sure you've seen it on Ladder a lot. I've been having a ton of fun with this one. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you are not already. I try and create lots of fun, unique decks for you guys to play, and I hope you have been enjoying this one. I know mill is not everyone's cup of tea, but it is time for me. Everyone's playing Sunset Wanderers. Everyone's thinning themselves. This deck is better than it's ever been before. I know a lot of people have been enjoying it. So I wanted to bring you the most updated version of the deck. Why is Mill so good all of a sudden, you ask? Well, it's probably the tactical decision leader ability. Um, with Snowdrop, with the Mage Assassins, with Afan and Sunset Wanderers, you just have an insane amount of points that thin from your deck. So we're not going to need consistency cards like a Neuromancy or, or anything like that. Uh, added to that as well, the new Teleportation card, while very bad and slow um, in terms of points, it is giving you very, very cheap mills, which means you have more mills in abundance. Now, previously, the last deck was running Operator. It was running Duchess's Informants and Brathens. But I've taken a different approach in this one around prioritizing points. So the philosophy of the deck is we need to have enough mill cards to mill our opponent, but we also need enough points to convincingly win. So if our opponent tries to 2-0 us, which is what most people do, we can have just a completely juicy 10-card uh, round where we just outpoint them. So we're going to try and find the mix between milling our opponent while also having points. And Nilfgaard tactical decision is a great start because there's so many points in this package so uh first of all let's look at all the ways we can mill people teleportation is the first one we've touched on of course we're going to be playing double kingslayer uh, as well as traherne as well traherne is sort of like a upscaled uh, kingslayer less points but you get to look at the top three cards from your opponent's deck uh, that's a key way as well of lining up cantarella uh you don't want to just have cantarella into the dark because you can hit all sorts of terrible cards but if you can use a traherne look at what your opponent's playing uh, look at what's on top of their deck, I beg your pardon. Uh, mill one card and then Cantarella the card that you really want to play. That's a nice option. So teleportation is a little bit sketchy at times. However, by playing Necromancy and also the Man, the Myth, the Legend, Vigo, we have two other ways of getting these Kingslayers guaranteed. Uh, we can, of course, Necromancy, the Kingslayer that dies, therefore opening up teleportation on it again. And also Vigo is great with teleportation because you play your Vigo for a one-point Kingslayer. It's going to be guaranteed. We only play three bronze units in this deck. Uh, Vigo then is going to make a one-power copy of a Kingslayer. You teleportation it, puts it to four, uh, but also it's going to trigger your Assimilate on Vigo. So it actually turns into a four point tempo teleportation which is really good for four provisions so these are all the ways we can use um mills 100 consistently because operator isn't that consistent informants aren't that consistent so we're trying to move away from that okay what are the other cards that always mill tibor matter and of course the main man vilgefort these cards mill 100 of the time um and that's exactly what we're looking for there are big payoff cards speaking of big payoff cards we also have the golem in at six provisions this doesn't mill like tibor so it's not a card we're going to want to use in round one it's just a very easy mulligan in early rounds and then it's a big point sound player in round two or round three for 12 points of course if your opponent's got no units left in their deck it's just 12 points it's also a decent renew target uh, because renew is the secret card the recipe for success in a mill deck because it gives you your big payoff cards that can mill again tibor matter vilgefortz uh, golem there's also some situations you might even renew a kingslayer or a traherne because it might just be the difference between winning or losing there's been a couple of times where a renew onto a kingslayer has milled my opponent's best card and helped me win the game so uh, renew just fits perfectly but really the double vilgefortz is what you're going to be looking for against a lot of meta decks but where are our points coming from well you might have seen one of my other videos where i mentioned the Ivar meta. Ivar is very popular in the current meta. Reason being is loads of people are playing Sunset Wanderers and of course uh, if your opponent is playing Ivar and you don't have Ivar you're a bit of a disadvantage. In this deck really when I made it the main deck you want to be good into is other Nilfgaard decks because of how much they thin. So having Ivar for the mirror matchup is going to be crucial. It's just a really great card. Also has some nice synergy with matter where you can sort of extend the adrenaline that little bit longer. Uh, it just fits the deck fantastically well. Gives you a way to win round one because your opponent just has to push against mill they can't pass and give up the round if they pass and give up the round you can just go into round two and mill them get card advantage for round three um so people just often will have to go all in balls to the wall in round one 
and Ivar there just gives you a ridiculous amount of reach, particularly when combined with Leader, with Snowdrop, and with Sunset Wanderers. The other thing you want to consider in these decks is if you play Ulbrich, Blightmaker, uh, Vic Varanovis or Coria. These four cards are ways of thinning your Mage Assassins and your Afan from your deck if you don't use them with your leader. Often you're going to find one or hopefully two of these cards with your leader ability, but often you're not going to find the perfect three. And you don't want to have this card stuck in your deck. So Ulbrich, Blightmaker, Novice, and Coria can all do this. Blightmaker is expensive, so is Ulbrich. So I prefer the Novice and the Coria, but we've gone for double Coria in this deck. Novice, uh, if the card is on top of your deck already you can draw it and then shuffle it away or if it's already in your hand but the the mage assassins and the afan in our hand we can already sort out with our leader ability it's really the ones stuck in our deck that are the problem and that's where the choria really shines it's a whole extra point on the novice and it looks at the top three cards on our deck giving us better odds on finding the afan or the mage assassin this is particularly good in round three but also the choria working in a very similar way to Traherne where we can look at our opponent's top three cards, moving one to the top. So we could set up a Cantarella, a Kingslayer. It's really not just the movement that's important, but also the information so you know when to time your Cantarella. No surprises, we're also going to be playing Dead Man's Tongue. Dead Man's Tongue is a great way of making the fact you're playing these teleportations a lot better, because if you don't draw your teleportations when you need them, you can get rid of them with Dead Man's Tongue. It's the same with a Kingslayer. You can turn your Kingslayer into 10 points. If you, uh, six points uh, plus a, a bronze is going to make it 10 tempo. If you've already milled your opponent to the maximum it's just a really good card to thin your deck and it's just a staple card in Nilfgaard. you notice we've got enough provisions for two fours and a five it's very important they're going to be special cards or golds because we do not want to mess up our vigo our vigo right now is 100 of the time playing kingslayer Coria, mage assassin we're almost always want to, going to want to play him as a kingslayer it seems like a waste of eight provisions but remember you could play stregobor for the same sort of effect but it's going to be dying a lot of the time whereas vigo is always playing a mill card and it gives us teleportation value as well maxi's going to be the card uh, she's not a gold she's a unit so it gives us some proactivity really nice with snowdrop really nice with sunset wanderers and the leader ability as well we get to look into what the situation is with our leader we can also try and get that snowdrop closer to the top of our deck if we use maxi see snowdrops near the bottom we can shuffle and try and make that a little bit cleaner the last two four provision cards you're going to want to make sure they're special cards. This is where you have the most flexibility. Again, the reason they're specials is because of our Vigo. There's a few options here. One option is going to be a Swallow Potion. It's just a six-point card. Also, a Spores is going to be decent as reset. I don't love the Spores just because you can Vilgaforts twice and it's competing for value with Ivar as well, although it's definitely an option. Uh, Pact as well, very similar to uh, swallow and then the final ones are going to be a diplomacy and a tourney gels which are probably going to be the combo i recommend to you also i'm going to be playing a red haze on ladder i'm not going to put that in the main net deck because red haze is only really good if people aren't expecting it it's kind of just a little bit funny uh we can we can kill some big cards with it so I, I'm, I'm playing the red haze at the moment to consider but diplomacy tourney gels are like the standard cards tourney gels very good against syndicate on tax collectors also can help you against northern realms against reinforced ballistas and the diplomacy can be a proactive card you can also high roll into a Kingslayer against Nilfgaard. So this is the deck. Realistically speaking, what you want to do with Mill is try and mill as many cards in round one. Keep your leader if you're on blue coin and just accept you're probably losing on even pass on five cards most of the time. Uh, and then try and resist the bleed round two. Often if you win round two, you'll win the game. So just mill, mill, mill in round one. Save your leader and all your juicy cards for round two if you're on blue. If you're on red against decks like Koshchi, against decks like Siege, you're going to need to win round one. So really try and prioritize points and then try and mill them in round two going into a short round three where you maybe get card advantage and have some big finishes they're definitely the tougher matchups and against Nilfgaard just try not to overcommit. try and mill a lot of their good cards and uh yeah don't play into Ivar hope you guys enjoy the deck like the video if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what do you want to see next do you have any questions about mill would you like me to do a video on how to play against mill because I know it's something a lot of you struggle with so let me know hope you guys enjoy the video nice one playing some mill we're trying our hardest to make Mill good again. It's going pretty oh, well. Goodness. We just lost the last game. Getting bored. Uh, we're playing Gwent, guys. Obviously, Life Coach has been playing some Gwent recently. Uh, very good game. I would recommend if you've not played it. It's very free to play friendly. If uh, you're looking at getting involved in a, in a new card game, I would recommend it. And yeah, thanks, Life Coach. It's really kind of you. Let's go. That's really cool. Hooray. Alright, two mill cards. So the deck we're playing, we're trying to 
banish all the cards from our opponent's deck so they have no le cards left to play and that's how we win. You know, sounds like a pretty good strategy to me. What could go wrong? I hear you say. Exactly. So it's historically like a very bad deck. It's been very bad for a very long time. But everyone's always got a bit of a sweet spot for it. And uh, yeah. We're trying to make it good. And already we've probably got a higher score with Mill than anyone's got. But people know it's coming now because I've made YouTube videos about it. So. The strategy for our opponents. Normally this card would thin one from the deck. But they just play it as a 4. Not thinning right. Also their ship. They're going to try and keep their ship in their deck probably. I'm going for Matter here. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. And then our Coria is going to get an extra point on Sunset Wanderers. We're going to Coria, looking at the top three cards from our opponent's deck, and then we're going to pick one to Cantarella. Again, they're not going to click this. Oh boy. I'll take a Professor. Thank you. Don't mind if I do, actually. Yep. Don't mind one bit. So we would have got Horses Freak Show, which would have been decent. And that's also if we were to slam Vilgeforts. Or find another mill card off Sunset. Would it be Freak Show? Maybe. Maybe Freak Show would be better. I think I just want points. I think Professor's just points. I like the sound of it. Not the den you are, I'd imagine for a little run though. Bang, mate. Give us a bit of carryover. Yeah, they have Wanderers. It's a good catch. So Wanderers is also thinning. Lots of people are playing deck switch thin very efficiently. Like, I'm pretty sure the Vilgeforts could just be worth it here. It's just uh, on a 7. Because we know it's thinning Freak Show. We just hope it spawns in the back row. Back row? Nice. All right. So this Corey was just great. It gave us the info to tell us that this Vilgeforts is worth it. The Red Haze is looking... Particularly dodgy guys yet again. I think it might be time to let the dream of the red haze go. Honestly, wouldn't be that surprised if we could pass here. They have to try and 2-0 us. Having said that, we just play like a, a red haze or attorney just and it plays for a lot of points. You doing business with you? They thin the ship too. Yeah, guys, Red Haze has to go, mate. Please never let me play this card one more time. You have to promise me, guys. You cannot let me play this card ever again. Vigo's great because it gives us a Kingslayer. Also, if they don't want to play Wanderers from hand, it's just another card that's thinning. They've already thinned the, the ship. They try to avoid it with these, but it just means they've still got like these cards stuck in their deck, right? Like, they have nine cards left. Two of them are four points each. They just play into the Ivar too. The Wanderers thins. Demons don't scare me. We're one the same. Now we're 13. This is 23 ahead. So Ivar is a card which swaps the power of him with a, uh, an enemy unit. You have to. Oh, nice. The Tony Jones Valley. You have to use it before Adrenaline 3. So when each player has th three cards in their hand. When you have three cards, really. Well, this has gone well, I would say. To the pyres with them. To we could the even fire. renew the matter if we would like. I'm not going to pass like when I have potentially we two mills here. Bank is a sad card to mill. Of course, it's a zero point card for well, three points because of the coins. Yeah, we could we could obviously renew Vilgefortz next round. Or we could renew Matter now, which would draw us Tibor, which is another card which mills, but we'll have to see. We don't wanna use all of these cards. We still have Snowdrop plus full leader as well, let's not forget. Um Orson would kill Professor here. Get some coins. We have the freak show. They can't play drill. I guess we just don't have enough points. I just don't think they have enough points for it. So 
So we're going to be drawing three cards next round and three cards in round three as well. So yeah, passing is just not really an option. This is so expensive for them. They're going to slam leader to get ahead here. Oh, wow. Imagine I could renew my Vilga Forts. So this actually gets them ahead of matter, which is interesting. So I'd play matter and Tibor. Still worth it. So I'm milling them twice, right? I'm fairly sure they still just play another card. Should have killed the Jackal. I don't think I ever had a chance, right? Or did I, Vil I, I Vilga Fort something? Did I Vilga Fort this? Yeah. Maybe my, my Vilga Forts was premature on reflection. Looks like a winner, mate. I like it. Thanks, mate. And we just don't respect. We just don't respect them enough. Alba! Ah, long ships are oh, guess, that, guess uh, we're playing our leader. If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. Oh, where are my thinners, mate? Do they really have the points? 10 points, guys? There's no way this is another poison. I don't believe it. We've mattered this into their hand, mate. What an easy game. I killed Tax Collector instead of Jackal. Were they both at four? Interesting. Thanks, Rustle. Yo, PB. All right, so now we win. Now we just win. We just want to find all our mill cards this round. Mill cards, please. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is where, this is where we bluff. So we, we have one mill card. Basically, mill cards are card advantage at this point in the game, right? This is where we just play our teleportation and pretend that we have enough points. Because then we just trade for our... It's like the worst possible hand here, actually. Obviously, they can pass if they're watching my stream. Cool. No more half measures. So we just traded a bronze for this. Obviously, it was very risky. But now they just have three cards. You have to go for it, man. You can't... You have to bluff. You have to bluff a bit. This would have been a super big brain pass from them. And they would have just probably been accused of sniping. <laughs> poor, poor guy. Guys, we have a flipping... We have a wolf pack in our hand, guys. This is great. We win, guys. Great news. Naturally, at once. And Yo, Faldi. For the great sun. This is a very cool game, actually. Mate, Corrier is so good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you agree. I've been saying this for like a whole month, right? The Corrier, two months. I was trying to play Corios last season. The rest of the deck just wasn't quite as good. Here we go. Oh, Haze. Oh, this is... Guys, oh, Red Haze is going to pop off. This is a terrible matchup, guys. But where... Oh, we have the Traherne again. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Red Haze could be super important. Here we go. Show me the fault test, the Pavetta, or the Siege. Yes! 
Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy, guys? I'm the daddy. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe I should have done the other way around, right? Maybe we should have done it the other way around. You mistake stars reflected in upon Death to the enemy. Sky. Guys, you see this card? This is the key card. This is the key card. You guys remember saying cut red haze? Cut red haze, Bessie, it's bad. Red haze sucks, Bessie. What are you doing, mate? Guy. Red haze is really bad, spicy man. Please remove it from the deck. This seems like a shuffle. Too many mill cards at the bottom. We put to the bottom a hey. What? What? We need points. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Red haze. Guys, guys, guys. <gasps> Humans. Oh, I just nutted everywhere. Guys, what if we actually kill the commando? Does that ever make sense? No, we're playing mill. Oh! Good show. Oh! We've peaked, guys. It doesn't get any better than this. We milled the flipping pavetta. And we red haze the fold test. And we're probably going to lose the game still. I hope not. I'll cry if we do. Actually cry real life tears. I hope. I really need to premium one and non-premium one. Each of these cards, right? Novigrad requires rejuvenation. A rebirth. We dance. <laughs> For young is the night. I'll oh, happily slam jam the T-Bore, guys. T-Bore. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Into the flipping mill card as well. This is just so good, guys. This is so good. We're actually beating the NR Gamer. Oh. I have no commandos left, guys. Remember that. It's very important. They can't replay these dudes. We milled the pavetta. Time to get our hands dirty. Where are your jewel cards, my dude? I know they're here somewhere. I know they're here somewhere. Oh no. It's really unfortunate. Mind, I guess. Not all battles need end in bloodshed. Oh my god, can you piss off Renew, please? Hey, prepare the trick. Oh, Truly elect for the great fight. sun! Mill cards, mill cards. We need some mill cards. Mill, 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 mill. Why are all the mill cards at the bottom? Oh my god. Weren't they at the bottom and then. Weren't they at the bottom and then I maxied and they're still at the bottom? Look at this. One, two, three. Oh, it's so annoying. I get Cantor off of... Is he just leader hit? Wait, you don't leader there? The hell? Seems like a good time to pass. Do I actually have enough points though? I'm not really gaining much by playing on. Might lose. If we win, this is, I think, the first time we would have beaten Stack. Do 
Do you want a courier in hand? Mage assassin in deck, nice. That's good. This is good because we want a mulligan it. Teleportation is bad, I think. Just need points. Nice, kind of perfect, right? Necromancy would have been good too. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. No, this is a misplay, right? This was a misplay, guys. It's fine, I guess. This was a misplay, though. I know why I did it. Let us see. But yeah. I don't have necromancy for the other courier. I got banished it anyway. Elf must die. It's actually really bad. Jesus. Natalis? Probably not actually, now I think about it. Yes. Good idea though. We follow Letho's lead. Please kill the courier so I can matter. Something, I don't know. Probably should have just taken the Vilga Forts already. Ah, oh, we just give him something good though, innit? It's just pointless. Demons don't scare me. We're one the same. Looks like a loss. Ouch. Alba! Good effort. Good effort. I'm impressed. That was a good effort, man. If we had more more mill cards for round two, we would have won, right? I think we played it pretty well, honestly. Yeah. Will you learn we, from that? We line? were on that. Are you capable? Side of the coin, right? But if you're the other side of the coin, they can also just curse scroll the vet, right? Might be a mirror. There's lots of. I mean, every NG deck is this leader, so you don't know. Looks like a mirror. And if they're playing the original deck, it's pretty bad. Yeah, and that's exactly why I started playing Mill as well, right? Because half the half the ladder is that's cool to see. Okay, it's not Mill. It's good. It's just a mid rangey deck. I was worried it was Mill. We don't actually have many ways of milling, so let's just do yes. this. Obviously, do anything for us. But... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Never bring mill? It's not meme. It's actually just good, mate. Think about it. We almost beat a Pavetta deck. No good wine Yo, Oz, mate, get on it. Even compost. Glad to hear it, man. Do it, mate. Do it, do it, do it. We I should put the Kingslayer here. Would have made more sense. Would have opened up Necromancy, too. It's a big misplay. Big misplay, guys. Oh, 
Mickey. It's not very polite. Oz, were you around? Uh, did you watch my stuff in beta? Or have you just found me like by flicking through Gwent on, on, on Twitch and whatnot out of interest? Music marries cultures, connects folk to one another. Oh, I'm playing into the Blight Maker again, guys. What am I doing? What am I doing? So they put a spell on top, which is Dead Man's Time, which I don't even want to mill, right? I have to say. Kind of a sad hand. Not being able to banish the tourney gels, for example. This has not gone well. I would say. Notice! All roads lead to Nilfgaard. Nice, Oz. That's so cool. All the ghosts. Like the revenants, I think. I think I remember. Very cool, man. Good to see you. Rah. They didn't take the bait, guys. My hands just terrible. It's all good. It's not great. Not feeling good about this pass. Probably some form of tactical decision. Like this kind of deck my opponent's playing though, not what I'm playing. Time to get our hands dirty. Not bad. They could have just slammed that for points. They might just not care about mill at this point, as I didn't really mill that much. Not drawing snowdrop feels really bad. Alchemist. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't take my snowdrop, please. Please don't steal my snowdrop. Please. Please don't take my snowdrop. Alright, I'll take a Rico. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Ta. Is this a good Villigi Forts? I mean, it could be Colgrim, right? In which case, no, but if it's Colgrim, they're playing Defender. Which I can never answer. So, yes. Quite the menial task. You leave me but one option to crush you. Mm, a superb. Yo, Oz, thanks for following, mate. Yeah, Tony totally not playing the, the self Miller that is also known as Reance, right? They might have a Colgrim, I could regret that, but I had to go for it. I still want to play into Ivar, but now I know he's not a threat. Could play the Tibor. Slams the leader. I'm just not scared of them anymore, I don't think. I do need to not overdo it, but. I like you, whether you like They're playing into my Ivar, guys. This is great. This is this is brilliant. And I have a flipping Rico. Guys. I just don't think we can lose, right? Sacrifice. Pretty sure we can't. Matter gets a snowdrop, by the way. 50 50 on Vigo snowdrop. No stench more foul than fresh well charred. It's gotta be worth the risk, innit? 
So many points. Snowdrop. No. Oh, devastating. Devastating, mate. But it's also points on our Ivox of the draw. A card. Tings. We could also have Snowdrop being the top card now, right? So we could just risk it. I guess I could have back row to Coria. Coria. Yeah. This is fine, I can just put it away, right? Don't think we're scared. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, the Reants is quite good though, and actually, yeah, that's a good point. I live to serve you. Oh no. Wait, what do they just do? They set this to one. Let's see. Right, right, right. No. Kind of painful. We missed Snowdrop. And Gollum. Oh my god, Heatwave bomb card. The good news is we have the Ivar. They don't really look like a Colgrim deck. But I would not be surprised if, just, if you just jam Colgrim in these sorts of decks. It's just a mid rangey card. And that's why we play Ivar, guys. That's the difference maker. The other question we have to ask is how many points is Rico playing for her? A shame I have no time. Bloody hell. Deciding. Rossons. Four points. We get more than four guys, right? I believe. Long live the Emperor! This, uh, this Ivar Mills. Get him, we're going second. Unleash the squall! Attack! Let's go, guys. Red Haze is still in the deck, by the way. Just for those wondering. Thank God for the Vigo here. Beautiful stuff. We could go for a front row Coria, see what we're working with. And like I have an abundance of mills. Dunno. This is probably an example of where we'd rather have a Tony Joust if they play tax collectors. I probably won't. So what are you playing off stream to count? I actually haven't queued into much of it, especially at this MMR. Not played any real mill mirrors. But like this version is actually way worse than the Better mill mirror, right? Next time, than the original. Significantly. The senses can be fooled easily. Time to get our hands dirty. Poisons are still good mills. Yo, Esteban. Yeah, it's actually going really well. Thanks for like two five twenty. It's been pretty smooth. Lost a, lost a few on the way, but most of the time we're winning. And when we lose, it's usually pretty close. Or not close at all, because we can't answer fall test. I've gone flopping. Oh, you've done it now. oh my god. Oh my god, this guy's getting magic lamped into Cleavered. Oh, that was unfortunate. Red Haze smurfing yet again. Gaga. Gaga. What are you doing, mate? I can't believe you've you've done this, Gaga. You've changed the game. I only loot corpses. Except sometimes they're quite fresh. 
Where are the other mill cards, guys? Is this a visual glitch? When you give up first round? Uh, when you're confident that you are not going to get too owed. Basically. Which is maybe when you've got like Sunset Wanderers at the edge of your hand. Their Sunset Wanderers has been played or something. Also if you just have an unplayable hand. But usually you try not to. Well, bank. Thinning card, guys. Oh, you silly boy. You silly goose. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> You silly goose. I could front row a Corio right and try and get something. Maybe it was the play. Maybe I should have just gone for the Corio there. I'd quite like to banish a Corio and keep that. I probably should have just gone for it, honestly. I kicked teleportation though. And I kicked a turn of just. Guys, we can re oh we can't re King Sarah is doomed. <laughs> but like if I was to give up this round, I'm probably just losing the game, right? So even though it doesn't look that appealing to push here, I'm likely gonna end up just playing my T bore and stuff. Maybe save Ivar for a rainy day. Like getting Freak Show out is really good. We just need the drill as well now. But they've played Cleaver and Justice is a thinning card, right? Yeah, opponent is struggling, for sure. They likely just have golds in hand. So. Nice. So they have no more offensive spenders. Uh, we could pass here, but I think I'm just happy doing this. I live to serve you. Exclamation mark deck. I'm just going to put the, the Viper Witcher on top. Obviously here I was looking for Mage Assassins and stuff maybe, but if I found one, I might have actually turned down the option because I don't need the points really. So they play Sunset Wanderers from hand, which is usually the correct play. It does open up a potential Ivar. I'm still a little bit concerned. But knowing I have my Sunset Wanderers for the next round, I don't have a Renew set up though, which is pretty bad. I would like to play this, but realistically. Vigo's a bad renew, right? It's just like renewing a Kingslayer. I don't love the pass. I think like we should try and punish this, but. I'm just worried I don't actually have enough points. I, this is a big decision, right? I could have played the T-Bore. No snowdrop. Yeah. Yeah, you play Sunset Wanderers because it's a thinning card, right? Which again is just an example of how good Mill is. Like the fact you're forcing your opponent to do that is actually really like that's points for you, right? They just lost basically like a whole card. Because this would just be three points. We have ours, and we're free to use it as well. Yeah, it's not that bad, right? So they're playing the Justice. They're going for the Thin Approach. Trying to 2-0, which is why I just decided to pass her and keep keep some good cards. Time to get our hands dirty. I was hoping to draw Snowdrop, though. My Rune used Dodgy. We could Vilgefort something, though. Put the golem on top, for example. To me, you are a mere trifle, an amused bush. It's quite likely I get bountied, right? Funk <laughs> Ford's T Bar. Alba! Oh, be ashamed to let this beauty go to That's waste. Right. Bad. Nine point T Bar. 
way. Spending with the jackal. Not respecting Ivar too much, son. Yeah, we've missed a lot of cards. I need this. Snowdrops all the points here. Ivar's not looking too good at the moment. We have a 10 point Ivar on the Jackal. Haven't milled any golds. They seem to be playing into the Ivar though, guys. It's very good news. I think we just go leader here. Obviously, if Snow drops the top card, it feels really bad. But... If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. Is Renew completely bricked? This no, it's got Vigo. I think we ditched the Canter. Although it's going to be top card off this. Ugh. That's kind of horrible, actually. And the water, my the continent will quake. Wait, I could move it. With this. Without hesitation. Oh, this is so tempting though. It's four points. Want this, all right. Corey is just smurfing across the, across the board, mate. Yeah, no matter. Sucks. Would have drawn a snowdrop, obviously. No, Ivar's still available. This is our Ivar turn. Could also renew the Corrier, right? It's nine points. To the fires with them! Do they? Oh my god, they spent again? Oh no. Oh, that was unfortunate. This poor dude. I guess they're just saying I lose to Ivar anyway. Wouldn't a Yeet Wave be better than Ivar? Whammo, watch this. You've, you've spoken at a bad time, mate. Whammo, sorry. I spy, I Should I also try to play around Tavern Brawl? Demons don't scare me. We're one in the same. That was 28 points, mate. Bamu. See? Does that answer your question? The answer is no! Ivar meta, mate. Ivar is the new meta. Graden? Oh, bloody hell. Couldn't they have spent more? Oh my god, that's a big lad. That is a big lad. Wouldn't it be a shame if I had a Vilgefortz ready? Quite the menial task. A witch, most villainous. She's just seven points, guys. It's fine. What are we using Renew for? The T ball they just killed, fortunately, is now available. We should have enough for it. Unless they have two units. Give no quarter. Oh no! Be some crimes, please. <laughs> Did I see T Tia ragging on my deck? No, on the mill deck. <laughs> or he just doesn't know how to play against it, right? It's fine. It's just this just means I'm winning, right? This just means that the deck is doing well. If people are ragging. It. I love it. Let's go. Let's inject into my veins. I want to see it now. Getting bored. This deck is wacky. It is pretty wacky. Time to get our hands dirty. <laughs> I think it's time to make a mill montage, guys. I think it's time. So satisfying, isn't it? So satisfying. 
It's like I was obsessed with Alchemist, but really I just wanted to play uh, Mill all along. That's not the game. It's not. It's not. We're on the bad coin. We're going to lose on even. I actually don't have that m many mills in my hand. I only have two more. It's pretty, pretty bad. We we milled the uh, uh, Siggy Reuven. <clears throat> He's all ears, but he got milled. So who cares? Yep, exclamation mark deck. Sorted. This will make for prime product. Yeah, I mean we're just happy losing this round, don't care. Here's our chance. To be honest, I should have gone Treherne first. This is a misplay, right? Eh, maybe not. It's only a misplay if there's like really good cards I wanna mill. Thanks, Coco. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. Oh, mate. We put a flipping poison on top. Your attention, please. Dreaming of Cantarella, guys. I am dreaming of Cantarella. Yeah, I mean, we could have, but Traherne is doing it. And also, we can use Coria on our own cards, right? We could have, but chances are. I just want my Cantarella, man. What do we kick? Probably this Corio. I'm quite happy to play the mat this round, I guess. I only loot corpses, except sometimes. They're quite fresh. <laughs> Guess I'm just passing to be fair. I could play meta. Does make sense. Gets me Ivar right. I just wanna you'll notice I pass on five a lot of the time. It's kind of actually probably incorrect, like it seems like it's a, a good play to do, because then I have to bleed you, but like... You can't really go to a long round against me anyway. Chances are though, we know their top decks are bad, like, chances are their, their hand is pretty good here. But we also don't really gain much from milling them, because we're just milling bronze specials. So again, Mata, all it does is it draws us our best card, gives them their worst card, but... Kind of extends around a bit. Sort of. <laughs> Do not make me beg. Yeah, it's apps renew as well, exactly right. Plus, you know, Ivar would be pretty good here. Is NR this deck's worst matchup? Probably, yeah. Uh, you can beat it, but it's like the fault test defender ones that are a real struggle, right? Like I milled someone's Pavetta answered their fault test and still lost a minute ago. Although it was very close. Yeah, Matt's synergy with Ivar is there for sure. Uh, usually a, one Corrier and like one uh, Tourney Joust or Teleportation, it depends really. Like, you never want to get rid of Teleportation if, you're, if you've got like a free mill, but if you're trying to win like round two often, you just want Teleportation, makes sense. Alright, they thin the ship. I think we're done here, right? I'm a bit nervous. I could see us losing for sure. We didn't mill that much. We did a bit. We got the Siggy. 
Maxi. No draw. Shit. This Cantarella looks pretty dodgy. It's just going to be a high roll. This is one dodgy Cantarella, guys. Let's go, man. Good to see everyone. Hope you're enjoying the stream, man. I'm really enjoying playing Mill, mate. I just needed something like this to just get my teeth stuck into, man. Deals can be filed within seven it's years. Good fun. It's where the Tony Just is for the situation. We follow Letho. <sighs> Let's go. That would have been such a good canter, though. Oh, no. The canter of dreams, mate. Would have been so good. Pray for Snowdrop on top of the deck. Pray for Snowdrop. Fjord would be good as well. Shall be your eyes, my lord. Think you can keep up with the Novigrad lass? It's really bad. Yes, pizza. Because actually, we started off with like Alzor, Living Arm. We tried both of them. Then we moved on to Operator, and then I just moved on to Neither. They're just not that good, right? Like the Unicorn is good if you have a better target, but you just don't really have a standout target when you consider that the golem is six provisions right like often you you would just be going unicorn into living armor but living armor is just not worth it like you can play alchemist but it's just makes your uh ego bad as well right so we'll just i'll uh, never be imprisoned again we're kind of getting a bit wrecked now the question is if we believe in the snowdrop on top or not the answer is we probably shouldn't but i think i'm gonna believe Long live the Emperor! Won't find any better. Snowdrop! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I believe in the heart of the cards chat. You see that? So we lost points because of Tibor. Uh, because of Sunset, right? But. My fist takes purest tears, purest in all Novigrad. We need to kill this card as well. It's cheat. I saw it. I didn't see it. Definitely did not see it. Oh my. Oh my Jesus. What do we kick? Probably just the Vigo, isn't it? Matter gives us not much, but they're probably going to kill Tibor or something, isn't it? We just want the points, which Vigo is not. Bless him. I could go for Renew Matter and draw them. Oh, they pass. Wow, that's an interesting line I've not seen before. All right. Warrett would be good-ish. I actually was playing Warrett for a while, but I ended up cutting him. Like, provisions are so tight with this deck. Honestly, this is a pretty five-head pass from my opponent. No Vigo. We get T-Ball back. We have an instant mill. That was a really interesting pass. You very rarely go into these sorts of rounds, but they played the brothers. They got the leader snowdrop from us by and and the sunset. But... I 
I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. Hand is good. We could play Mata for Vigo, which doesn't... Vigo's not great for us, but... No, dwarves do not qualify for childcare tax relief. Your magic can't harm me. No magic can. This is an interesting line from our opponent. Surely it can't be correct. Oh, my, are my thoughts. Get the tax collector. Nice. She is that nice? Maybe that's bad. Yes, she does. Yeah, she would draw us Figo. Which isn't that good, to be honest. Probably just rather play the T-Bore. Vigo is worth... Three, six, twelve points. T was just a point more. Nice. That's, there's the bank. This Ivar is just not worth doing. Huh? Just play it as an eight. It's an eight now, right? Yeah, it could have also given us an extra turn on Ivar, right? So you could argue that Matter was already good, right? Because it would give us last save, but also give us an extra turn on Ivar. Interesting. But we can just remove this tax collector with Ivar, and it's actually still a lot of points, right? Because it's going to go up to three. They don't spend here. And we could still go for the matter. But yeah, we obviously lost out on Ivar Adrenaline by a turn. So if they, like... They could have gone super tall, but I mean, I doubt they would anyway. I think we're just looking pretty okay here. We're 18 to the good. They do have 9 coins and leader, but they've played Freak Show. It's very relevant. Maybe we need last... I could see it. The eternal fire casts a shadow. This Ivar's not... Kill me with poison. You'd have to drown me in it. I can see the logic. Matter looks like it might have been the play earlier. We're eight to the good, but they have thirteen invisible. Mm, it's looking like uh looking like our opponent might have done us dirty here. I think they played it very well. They caught me off guard with this pass. I didn't get to mill them that much in round two either. Oof. Surely they have a bricked card or something, right? It can't just be golds. Cesar, for example, right? So this is a point less, but it gives us loss, so. It also would have made our sequencing a little bit better, right? Had I played this before the golem. It made things more awkward for them. Although it did also switch off the peach for a bit. Do we lose to Jack and Cesar? I think we might, to be honest. My Vigo is really bad. Jack plus Cesar, we probably lose. If it's a Jackal and not Cesar. We haven't seen Cesar, right? <laughs> Slow, ain't you? The senses can be fooled easily. Snap and done. Heckling kill. Maybe I will has to be correct. Alright. It's got to be Cesar, right? Which I think I just lose to.
We probably beat the Jackal though. Did we beat the Jackal? We milled Sigia. That was my one concern. Okay, it's not a spender. Wow. Yeah, we lose. The ideal is not destroy itself. GG. That's close. They played, that was a really good pass from them. And they played that very well. This is a good player. I got caught off guard by the pass, honestly. I have to, I'd like to watch that back maybe at some point and see what I should have done. Fair play to my opponent. It's probably the best anyone's played against me all day. Oh, goody. I was getting bored. I do find I mulligan Maxi very often. This can go right. This can definitely go. I just want as many mill cards as possible though. Here's our chance. You could have leaded round three. They've been learning it. I got really caught off guard by the pass though. I didn't see it coming. Fair play to them. Definitely deserved the victory, I would say. This is a great hand. It really is. We have the teleportations, the necromancy if they try and kill it. I love how they let one teleportation go through first. And then, and then they kill it. Yep. Time to get our hands. Oh, beautiful, beautiful facts, guys. Who am I doing an impression of? Beautiful facts. Does anybody know? I think it's a very good impression, actually. Here's our chance. But they kill it once. Let you necromancy it. <laughs> and then don't do anything. This is the kind of game I feel like I just never pass. Just keep milling, just keep milling, just keep milling, milling, milling. Is there anyone here to whom I can entrust my missive? Now, either they realize that their top card is good. No one can hide from me. Elf, remove his cowl, then his ears. For the canter in it. Yeah. Second pass. Ah, interesting. True. Yeah, true, true, true. Interesting. I'll never be imprisoned again. Long live the Emperor! Mothist takes purest tears, purest in all Novigrad. Probs should have killed the Gellart. Gerhart, Gerhart, Gerhart. Gellart. Gellart. 
Ooh, a thinning card, guys. That's pretty good for us, I would say. Like, they just can't pass, right? It's kind of hilarious. If they pass, they just lose the game. I think it's finally time to, to kill this card. They just can't pass, guys. Maybe I should have played the Maxi to actually have good draws. Imagine playing Maxi in round one when I could play her in round two, guys. Kind of makes sense. Obviously, it's a bit of a shame I have to play leader here. Just win the game. So if we have mill cards on top, I mean, we have Snowdrop here. We just keep it, right? Snowdrop is near the top. We do need the Vigo and the Kingslayer, though. That is the most important cards for this round two. Which we don't actually find. I wonder if we're supposed to unironically. Jeez. What do I do here, man? I feel like I'm supposed to shuffle. To be honest. Nice. These are the cards we need for the next round, mate. I know it seems weird. Truly I mean, Sandra's not even good at this point, right? I'm down two cards. They're drawing three. So I just want to play like two mill cards here, basically. Because I can only maxi smurf so hard. I can only justify this line of play I've taken if I have two mill cards, right? Snowdrop can help me find as well. I mean, this is just good, right? Don't actually want the Snowdrop particularly anymore. Matter would be great here. Have we got Renew set up? Tibor. Just have so many golds for the last round, but... Are there any other decks in Gwent? I don't think so. I think it's only me, right? Whoever harvests Lee stays in these woods for good. Time Got to it. get our hands dirty. Whoever harvests leaks? Is that what he says? I didn't realise. You shall know the Emperor's fury. Such a shame I didn't have a teleportation. It would have been enough, right? <laughs> Slow and check. All right, three cards versus three cards. They have full leader, and randomly they get carryover. I still don't understand why, but they do. We didn't really mill any good cards, so I'd expect the last card to be bad. I was an 8 point card here, Snowdrop's a 6. Cool. We miss Matter, we miss Renew. Matter's like the best card, right? I'm dead Basically. An interesting choice. This is just very sad. Matter was 19 points here. Yeah, Matter was a 19 point card here, guys. Feels very bad. We lose. I would have won if I had it. It was Bart. Maybe keeping Snowdrop was correct. You've talked enough. Yeah, I guess she could have been an eight point card, right? I think you're right. Should have kicked over. I think you're right. Where's Bart? I want Bart to come into my chat.
isn't that other Tempe card? Brathens? So the problem with Brathens is you have to play Spies, right? And I don't want to play anymore. Spies. I, I want to just play the three units I've got here for my Vigo. But also, Ivar's just very good this meta. Like, he was bad there, but... <laughs> we follow Letho's lead. Oh no, what's that all about, man? Oh, we hit the flipping knickers, guys. It's so bad. Oh, I want to cry. Poor knickers. He's been banished, guys. Never going to see him again. Oh. Yeah, but he's a lot better this meta, right? Because of Sunset Wanderers. Like, Ivar would have popped off round one as well. He's just very good. He's very good in the mirror as well. Snowdrop and stuff. Got you. Bleating son of a doe. No one can hide from me. Hoggers. Fine vintage it would have made. Thank you. Ten point canter. Nice. Very nice. I'm happy you brat for a bit. Fuck your blunt man, I want my spliff. <laughs> they don't want it, mate. They just don't want it. They just don't bloody want it. Easy game, easy life. 